Today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about intensity versus volume, and we'll also be talking about progressive overload. All right guys, we're back with part two of the six video series of how to make your own workouts. This topic makes me a little nervous to talk about because it is pretty controversial. A lot of people have their own opinions. I'm going to talk about um, all of this from my own experience, what works really well for me, and I think what you'll hear from mm, probably the majority of bodybuilders. So you really don't want to be doing the same thing over and over and over again. You don't want to go into the gym doing the same exercises for the same sets, for the same reps with the same weight. The only people I would really recommend doing this is someone who's not looking for real, real growth, um, just looking to keep their body healthy, maybe someone who's a little bit older and really is just trying to maintain where they're at, but someone who's not really looking for growth. Your body needs stimulus, it needs um, a greater demand in order to grow. So what you're really gonna wanna do is keep adding to your workouts. And that's where it kinda gets a little tricky because people are like, if I keep adding reps or if I keep adding sets, my workouts are just gonna get longer and longer and longer. And that's kinda where I'm gonna try and help you guys out a little bit today. So what is volume? Volume training is going to be what your rep is multiplied by your sets, multiplied by the weight that you're using. So that is going to equal what your volume is per exercise. You can add that up per exercise um, for an entire workout and then make sure that the next week is a little bit higher or higher or higher. Um, you can adjust any of those things, the sets, the reps, and the weight to increase the volume. The higher the volume uh, might mean that you will lose a little bit of intensity. So if you're doing a lot of volume, if you're doing a lot of sets or a lot of reps, you may not be able to go as heavy in your, uh, in your workout, so you might lose a little bit of intensity. So generally speaking, you're either going to be a little bit more taxing with the, the weight um, or a little bit more exhausted from the volume. It's kind of a, a battle of the two, which is why we really like to find that, that middle even ground. There are several ways to increase that overload, incre increase and constantly be progressing forward. So one of them is gonna be the resistance. So resistance means the weight that you're using, whether it be a dumbbell, a band, a barbell, whatever it is, constantly pushing the resistance, making sure that you're getting, you're adding more and more weight and maybe not per week, but as time goes on, as you're following a plan, making sure that you are actually getting heavier weights as you progress forward. The next thing is gonna be adding more reps. So um, a lot of times people will choose like three or four sets and they'll have like two sets will, where they'll do 12 reps. And the last one, they'll only do eight because they're trying to push the weight. But once that eight can become nine, and then 10, and then 11, and once you're hitting that same weight at 12 reps also on the third go around, then that's when I would increase the weight. So that the next time you go in there, if you're able to do three sets of 12, that time with the, you know, the heavier weight or with that same weight, the next time you go in, try to do the same thing with a heavier weight. And if that means that the last set that you do, you can only do eight, that's fine. Keep pushing that weight at the eight until it can become nine, until it can become 10, until it can be 11 and then 12, and then up the weight again. So that's how you're really gonna keep pushing yourself. It's okay to do a little less weight if that means that over time it will become more and more and more. So you are slowly increasing those reps, but it may be by only one rep a week for that one exercise. Do that with every exercise and I promise that your, your volume will grow, um, your rep range will go, or grow, all of that. So that's kind of the same thing for the volume. If you're increasing your sets, if you're increasing your reps, if you're increasing your weight, you're increasing that volume. Um, another thing is gonna be frequency. So Robert and I um, just recently switched our workout plan, but previously we were actually working every body part twice a week. 
that is um, a lot of frequency for each body part. That's a really great way to grow. Um, it's a great way to challenge your body, challenge those muscles to keep growing and growing and growing. If you want um, more defined quads, work your quads twice a week. Sometimes people work their legs three times a week. Um, if there's something that you really want to focus in on, I would increase the frequency of that body part. I wouldn't, normally I wouldn't say do it more than two times a week, legs maybe three times a week, but more than that, you probably won't have as much intensity. You won't, if you're, if you're working that body part hard enough, you're not gonna wanna do it more than about two, maybe three times a week, cause you're gonna be sore as all get out. The next thing you're really gonna wanna be able to focus on is decreasing the rest time between the sets. I don't always recommend this. Some people really need that rest time in between, but what uh, Robert and I really like to do is to superset it with another item. So um, it might be core, it might be um, calves, it might be another workout, but working a different muscle within that body part. Um, so decreasing that rest time and just going, 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 and that way your workout is not gonna be longer, but it's gonna be more intense. Um, and another thing is gonna be things like drop sets or um, time under tension or um, different things like that that maybe doesn't add more volume or anything like that, but you're um, able to add in a different type of variety to your muscle and keeping your muscles guessing. That's really, really big. There's a million different ways of um, increasing that overload. Uh, just find what you like find what works really well for you, um, whether it be the volume, the reps, the sets, the weight, things like that. Um, I know this video isn't directly telling you exactly what to do, but again, we'll go over sets and reps and things like that um, in the following weeks and how many exercises to do and all of that kind of fun stuff. But I think it's important to go over these uh, simple topics before we get into any of that, just so you guys can kind of understand that you're not wanting to just pick a certain amount of sets, a certain amount of reps, and always stick with that. You're always wanting to progressively overload your body, constantly adding a little bit more demand, a little bit more stress on your body, and that is how we're gonna get you to grow. So we'll see you next time for part three of the series.